Hey everyone, and now we're going to continue our discussion of alkanes, and in this video, we're going to talk about the physical properties and the chemical properties of alkanes. So, let's begin with the physical properties. So, let's write this physical properties. Now, the first physical property we're going to look at is that well, in previous videos, we said that alkanes are a homologous series and they're related by this formula, CnH2n plus 2. And we notice something. We notice as we increase the number of carbons, therefore, we're, inc we're increasing the length of the chain and therefore increasing the attraction between the atoms. Now let's demonstrate this or let's take an example. Well, the first four members of the alkanes are gases, for example methane. Methane is a gas. Also, also ethane, excuse me, ethane is also a gas, so C2H6, and so on and so forth, till you reach the fourth member, which is C4H10, so, which is butane. Now, all of these are gases, so these are gases. Now, the next 12 members are liquids. See, the attraction is increasing, therefore, it's a liquid. Now, the rest, so the rest are solids. So, this is one of the physical properties, which is as you increase the length of the chain, therefore, you're increasing the attraction between the atoms, and therefore, you need more energy to separate them, and so on and so forth. Now, let's look at another property of the alkanes. Now, let's leave with this. So, the second property we're going to look at is that alkanes are slightly unreactive. And why is that? Because all bonds in alkanes are singular bonds. And therefore, it's very hard to separate them and they can be broken easily. So, they, they can't be broken easily. So, that's that for the physical properties of alkanes that you guys are responsible for. Now, let's move on to the chemical properties of alkanes. So, let's write this. So, chemical properties. And chemical, in chemical properties, we're going to explore how alkanes react with chlorine and how what happens when we combust alkanes. So in this video, we're going to talk about combustion. In the next video, we're going to talk about chlorine. So let's begin. So we're discussing now combustion. And there's two types of combustion, whether it's complete combustion or it's incomplete. So when alkanes are burned completely, so here, complete combustion. So when alkanes are burned completely, they give out carbon dioxide and water plus a very, very high amount of heat. And let's demonstrate this. By an example, well, burning methane, for example, in air, so it uses carbon dioxide, sorry, it uses oxygen, and it produces carbon dioxide gas, so CO2 gas plus water plus heat. Now, since it produces a high amount of heat, Therefore, alkanes are very suitable to be used as fuel. So, let's write this. Can be used as fuel. Now, let's look at incomplete combustion. Now, the incomplete 
combustion. Now, when alkanes are burned incompletely, they give out poisonous carbon monoxide. Let's write the reaction for this. So, when methane is burned incompletely, now we have oxygen gas, and this would give out carbon monoxide gas, which is a poisonous gas, plus water, plus less heat. So, therefore, incomplete combustion of alkanes is very harmful. It produces carbon monoxide because it's a poisonous gas, therefore, it's very harmful. Now, that's that for this video. Let's recap. So, we talked about alkanes, the physical and chemical properties, and we said for the physical properties, as we increase the length of the chain of the compound, therefore, we're increasing the attraction between the atoms. And this is the reason why the first four elements are gases, the next 12 elements are liquid, and the rest are solids. And we also looked at another property, which is alkanes are unre unreactive since they all have single bonds and they're very hard to break. Lastly, we talked about one of the chemical properties of alkenes, which is combustion. And we talked about two different types of combustion, which is the complete combustion and the incomplete combustion. And we demonstrated these using examples right there. So in the next video, we're going to continue our chemical properties. We're going to discuss the reaction with chlorine. So stay tuned and good luck.